Let's stick with the thing that's a winner, and, and that is the arrowhead. So, uh, anyway, I'll, it should be about $1,000. We'll just give them a go ahead. The money's in the lake uh, fund. We have, uh, we have plenty of money, in, you know, to take care of that. So, once he uh, gives us the price, we can give him the okay, all right? Uh, the drainage pipe between, okay, that's, that's behind the signs residence. There's a, a do you know where the overflow is in, in the back of the first lake and it goes under uh, Old Meadowbrook Lane and goes out to the next lake and then there's another overflow that goes from the next lake out to the preserve area. And that's, uh, that's behind the signs residence. And nothing's been done about it for years. And what's happening is, is the so soil is erosion, er, eroding from the one house because it's a pretty steep bank there. And uh, the soil is eroding and it's depositing silt and impeding the flow of water out to the preserve. So our landscaper, Louis, uh, I brought him over there to look at everything. And he's going to have a, a, a backhoe dredge that out and, and um, clean all around the pipe. And he's going to put Baha'i grass on the bank to contain it. Uh, to, to reduce the uh, probability of erosion. Um, he's only charging us $650, which, you know, I expected this to be a few thousand dollar ordeal. And it's something that should, should be uh, checked on periodically uh, over the years because it is our responsibility. And, and uh, water drainage and management is one of our prime responsibilities and uh, nothing has been done about it. And so that stuff is building up. It's almost blocking half of that pipe. And uh, once he cleans that out, there, there should be better uh, relief of that water. Now, I can't guarantee when we get these severe rains like we did over the last couple of years that, uh, that we won't get flooding. Because once that preserved area fills up, uh, you know, there's not much anybody can do. However, if that thing is, is working properly, that there's, there's much more of a chance for that water to dump out into the preserve. Uh, it's not like high-tech engineering. It's just basically a pipe dumping it out into the preserve. But uh, it should be cleared and, and it should be functional. So should have been done a long time should ago. Should have been done a long time ago, that's right. But it, it's getting done now. And uh, he would have had it done this week, but uh, with the rains, uh, they held them, it back, backed them up. So I'm sure next week he'll get that taken care of. Um, all right. Sidewalk cleaning schedule, Doug Foster. Oh, yes. We took over this responsibility, the HOA, um, after, we got, after we were elected to the board. We did our first cleaning in, uh, let's see, March. And I've kind of been supervising it and let the, the rest of the board know um, basically what I'm going to recommend. And um, sort of my philosophy on this thing is that when the HOA has a responsibility for maintenance, whether it be the lake or our streets or landscaping or whatever it is, including the sidewalks, we ought to sort of set, set the standard for the rest of the community in terms of making things good and clean and in good repair. Um, and if we do this, then the community will take that sort of as a signal that, you know, keep their yards better and their houses better. And anyway, that's my philosophy on what the HOA ought to do when they have responsibility for something. So what I've noticed about the sidewalks is that some of them probably don't have to be cleaned at all during the year. Some of our residents still do a very good job of keeping their sidewalks clean. I've identified some that were dirty and then go back a week later and they're clean. Good, <laughs> glad to see that. But I've, I've noticed that we probably, I haven't done a complete year study, but we definitely have some walks based upon drainage or trees or whatever that get dirty every three months or four months. So I'm thinking that we ought to do um, periodic cleanings of those sidewalks that need it. And I've set up a schedule of you know, every quarter. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we don't clean, maybe we have, let's say that after this 
rainy and hot season, we have a whole bunch of sidewalks that are necessary to be done. So we do 70 of them then. In another three months, um, you know, kind of the hot weather's gone away a little bit, probably aren't getting quite as much mold, so we, in the next quarterly schedule, we do 25. And then in April, um, it's starting to get hot again, maybe we have to do 40. But we set up a budget that is based upon doing the number of sidewalks that are dirty, and we have to have some sort of grade as to what is dirty. But most people can walk around the community and see, you know, that sidewalk is dirtier than I like to see it. It may not be slippery, but it's dirty. So, so I've set up a schedule here which would cost, um, on an annual basis, about $4,000, which is about $20 a sidewalk, for, not a sidewalk clean, but for a homeowner. Cost you $20 a year for us to keep all of the sidewalks relatively clean. And um, that's one way to do it. I think it's the best way to do it, so that's what I'm recommending. Well, my question is, does it make sense to do Well, that was one of my questions, me and Doug had a little battle, but I, I let all you uh, put put your thoughts in and, uh, you know, s see if we can come to some just agreement. To that, excuse just to that, um, you know, the, side, the sidewalks that I would say would need cleaning right now, it might be 25. I mean, you just kind of walk around, and you, you can't, um, it, if you ask a street clean, uh, sidewalk cleaner, to do sidewalks, you know, if you, if you have him come in to do one, it's going to be 75 bucks. If you have him do 25, it's going to be maybe 25 bucks. If you have him do 50, it's 20. So you get some. So you don't want to do it every day, but you want to set up some sort of schedule so you got a punch. Um, right now, I'm guessing it's 25. I'm guessing that it's going to get worse. Um, you know, there's there's going to be some a lot more bad ones, say, in October, and that would maybe be the next cleaning schedule. But there definitely are some around the neighborhood that need to be cleaned now, so I'm suggesting that we start right away. And, if, you know, maybe we will find that this could be done three times a year or twice a year, I'm not too sure. But I think that the, the amount of money we, get, we spend, and that's sort of what I'm talking about here, we don't have to do next year's budget for another few more months. But the idea is that if you, you know, you tried to clean all the sidewalks at once, which I think is the wrong way to do it, you'd probably spend about $4,000 if you're going to get everything clean for only one time a year. Or you can get them as they get dirty, and that's the way I'm suggesting to do it. So on this year's budget, I'm just saying, let me go clean 25 right now. That's my recommendation. What are your thoughts, Lars? Well, I, I hate to be the one who put the damper on that thing. Uh, I, I'm only in favor of cleaning the sidewalks. God only knows there's some that are terribly, terribly dirty. But there are also some that are being uh, abused. And I say abused because the uh, irrigation. Now, we have a suggestion by Lee County that there are certain days a week that there should be, uh, uh, that irrigation should be used. And that's totally ignored. I have neighbors that are doing it three, four times a week. Now, a sidewalk under those conditions are, is going to be more dirty than if you just do it twice a week. So my question is, why should we uh, count out to those people that are abusing the system to begin with and have other people that are maybe even cleaning themselves? We are all paying this 20 bucks. It all comes out of the uh, out of the you know total income that we take in from the uh, um, from the um, assessments. So um, my my feeling would be uh, let's wait till this rainy season is over. I mean this has been incredible and it's continuing to come down here for the next couple of weeks that they, they claim and and then. Uh, do have a cleaning in, uh, if we want to wait till late August or even early September, and then have maybe another one in November. And after that, 
cool it and then wait for the uh, necessity to uh, to be the parent. What do you think, Mark? Well, in a perfect world, uh, <laughs> it would be nice to do a quarter of the sidewalks each quarter of the year. But uh, that's not going to happen because obviously there's some that necessitate uh, being done more often or frequently. And um, what I'm thinking of, I like Doug's idea of dividing it into fourths.